you guys, Enderheart here, back with another fan fiction reading. This was sent to me a long time ago, handmade by Taylor Underwood. Um, I'll send a link to him in, at the in the description. Um, this was sent to me November last year, and I never got around to reading it. That I finally remembered, since most of you figured out that my channel got messed not really messed with I kind of accidentally changed one of the settings and it shut down my thing but now I have it back up and I and I'm so happy that you guys have tuned in and subscribed and I'm just amazed by how much how much time and effort I have put into a few of these videos some of them I just did for fun but anyway let's get right to the fan fiction made by Taylor Underwood sent on November 30th, 2014. Sorry if there's any dings in the background. Okay. Uh, it's called a trade. It's simple, really. You for your brother. This is a Gravity Falls fanfic, as you can tell by the fan art, but there is no relation to this fan art to the fanfiction, but that doesn't matter. Let's get started. Chapter 1, Mabel. I opened my eyes. I had been pretending to be asleep until I was sure my brother was. If he knew what I was doing, he would have done the same. I guess that's how you think when you're a twin. You can't live if the other one's gone. How am I going to hurt him? I mean, am I going to hurt him? I keep thinking to myself. I get up and walk to his side of the attic. He fell asleep with the journal open to the page about Bill. It, it made me shudder. Looking at him made me feel like I was doing the wrong thing, with the bruises and cuts from the monster today over his face and arms, reminded me that he was able to be hurt. In the four years we've been coming here to visit our great uncle, he never gave up on the old book he found. I moved aside his bangs and put my hand on his birthmark. I never really understood why he felt like he should hide it. I traced the red outline with my finger, the Big Dipper. Tears came to my eyes. No, I can't cry now. He would see them when he when he came. But my brother was so beat up. Where he had large bruises and deep cuts, all I had were a bruise when I twisted, twisted my ankle running. I had fallen when my ankle got caught twisting it. The monster chased us and would have likely killed me if it were not for Dipper. Before the monster could attack, Dipper charged at the beast, hitting it in the side of the head. After gaining its attention, the beast turned to him, hurting him until it thought he was dead. The beast left an unconscious Dipper and scared Mabel with three other people alone in the woods. Oh, Dipper, I said, my voice barely a whisper. Why do you do this? Why do you do this to yourself for me? Tick tock, Mabel. Tick tock, Mabel, we have a deal here, said a voice all too familiar. Your, you for your brother's life. I lowered my head. I turned and looked at him. Leaning in the open window after getting out of prison a year ago, he set to do something to hurt us. Why do... Why do you have to do this? I asked, looking at him in the cold eyes. <clears throat> because you and your brother caused me a lot caused me and a lot of people enough trouble and I'm after revenge said a foe we were all too familiar with I turned back to my brother goodbye bro bro <laughs> I said tears in my eyes it was funny I was giving myself to the person I hated most to save the person I loved the most chapter 2 dipper. I woke up the next morning with pain all over my body. The cream sis's grandma gave the cream sis's grandma gave me for the cuts didn't help. One good thing came out of it. I had finally managed to win over Wendy. Just thinking about her made me blush. I heard a buzzing sound come fr coming from next to me. I looked at my phone, not noticing my sister was gone. I saw I had a lot of texts. Eight o'clock. Wendy. Can you meet me at Can you meet me at the diner for lunch today? 
Yes, my first... This is Dipper. Yes, my first date! Wait till Mabel finds out! My voice is high-pitched for Dipper. 7 o'clock. Seuss. How... How... How did... <clears throat> How did that stuff work last night? My grandma told me she accidentally gave you toothpaste. After reading the second text, I brought up my arm to my nose. It was toothpaste. I kept reading. reading. 3.55 Pacifica. Do you really think you can just break my heart like that? Last night... Oh. Do you really think you can just break my heart like that? Last night, Pacifica came, came with us, but got mad and left when she saw me and Wendy. The last one got my attention. 10.30. I've, I've got her pines. Meet me behind the diner if you want to see your precious twin again. With, with the last one was a picture of Mabel tied to a chair looking at the camera crying. No, 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 I screamed at the phone. The number was familiar, but from where? Suddenly, I heard loud footsteps coming from the attic. What's going on, kid? Grunkle Stan asked, with actual concern in his voice. By the time he was next to me, I was in tears. <laughs> I said, handing him the phone with water running down my cheeks. As he looked, his expression changed. Dudes, what's going on? Said Zeus. I do bad voices. <clears throat> Dudes, what's going on? Said Zeus, nearly breaking down the door. We looked out of him, me not even caring if he saw me crying. Stan, with wet eyes, saw me crying, and Stan, with wet eyes and his nose a darker red. He handed Zeus the phone. Zeus, who had already seen our expressions, must have known what was coming. Oh, oh no, dude. Oh, would do this to Mabel. Chapter 3. Seuss. I knew there was something bad going on as soon as I heard the scream. I was asleep on the couch, having drove the twins home, even if they were now 16 and could drive. From upstairs came a scream from Dipper. No, 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 no! Mr. Pines ran up to see what was wrong. After a minute or two, he hadn't come back down. I ran up, hitting the door, almost breaking it. Eight, breaking it I had last summer. I saw Dipper, who was now as tall as Stan himself, hugging his knees and knees to his chest, crying like he would if he was 12 again. He had not changed except the fact that he had traded his shorts for skinny jeans and now played guitar, something he always hated Robbie for doing. Like him, his sister changed, losing one millimeter she had held over him the first summer and was now a good three inches shorter wore solid color shirts since sweaters were would hold her up on her adventures with a cutout of something from one of her sweaters or many notebooks soon onto it stan had some leakage going on but i said nothing about it dudes what's going on i said starting to get some concerned mr pines handed me the phone and i noticed the empty bed on the other side of the attic i read the text once before i knew this must be killing dipper Maybe Mabel as well. Oh no, dude. Who would do this to Mabel? 